Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first step is to make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this 3 must go on the other side. So go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides. So that's gonna, this is gone. So so we got 2x squared minus 7x equal to negative 3. So the next step is we want to make sure that our leading coefficient must be 1. So that means we must divide this leading coefficient by 2 to make it 1. So I'm going to divide by 2 across the board. Okay. So whichever you're dividing the first one, you must divide each and every term. So we got simply 1x squared minus 7 over 2x equal to negative 3 over 2. So your next step is this one. I want you to look at the coefficient of x, which is 7 over 2. I don't want you to be considering this negative sign. Only consider 7 over 2. Just disregard this negative sign. So I'm going to put down 7 over 2 right up here. I want you to divide this one by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. So that's going to give us 7 over 4. Okay. And the next step is whatever you got this thing, you must square it. So whatever we got this thing, we're going to add this quantity on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and take care of that thing. So this is going to become x squared minus 7 over 2x plus equals to negative 3 over 2 plus okay and now we want to add this quantity whatever we have over here I'm going to put down 7 over 4 square and I'm going to put down 7 over 4 square on both sides so far so good so the next thing is I want to make sure I want you to just focus on the left hand side this part only. This represents a complete square of x minus 7 over 4 square. So now you might be wondering how did we get that one and we have used this well known fact a square minus 2 times AB plus B squared is always equal to A minus B squared. That's what we got it from here to here. So equals to once again negative 3 over 2, 7 over 4 squared is 49 over 16. So once again, let me just remind you that this X showed up right up here this 7 over 4 is right up here and whatever this sign negative this just came over here now the next step is we want to take care of this thing we're going to add these two fractions let's put it over here so let's simplify these two fractions we can see that the common denominator must be same. So if I multiply this 2 times a top and bottom, we're going to get 16 as a common denominator. So let's take care of that thing. So that's going to become simply negative 24 over 16 plus 49 over 16. So far so good. Since our common denominator is 16, you just put it once. Negative 24 plus 49 is going to give us 25 over 16. So that means we simply got on the right hand side when we simplify these two fractions turns out to be 25 over 16 on the left hand side x minus 7 over 4 
square. Since we want to solve for x, we must get rid of this square. So we take the square root on both sides. So what happens next is this square and square root, they undo each other. We got x minus 7 over 4 turns out to be a positive or negative. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 16 is 4. So the next thing I want you to isolate x. So that means this negative 7 over 4 must go on the other side. So x turns out to be equal to positive 7 over 4 when you move it on the right hand side positive or negative 5 over 4. So far so good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to split this thing up along these positive and negative signs. Okay, so the first one is going to be 7 over 4 plus 5 over 4 when you put a plus sign and when you put a negative sign that's become 7 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Since 4 is our common denominator 7 plus 5 means x equal to 12 over 4 means x equal to 3 is our one of the solutions. Here if you take the 4 as a common denominator 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 over 4 so that means x equal to 1 over 2 is another solution. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 3 comma 1 over 2 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel for more exciting videos.